Welding Symbols, Dimensioning of Fillet Welds, Part 2, A-Leaf School District CTE Welding Program. Interpretation of Metal Fab Drawings, this is a book by Cameron Duke Moran. We're going to get into Fillet Weld Symbols, that's Chapter 6. You can find this book online at openoregonpressbooks.pub backslash weld symbols backslash if you need more information. Learning objectives. In this module, we're going to talk about dimensioning of fillet welds, size of fillet welds, fillet welds on equal legs, and fillet weld lengths. Here's another example of the size of fillet welds. As we've said before, the size of the fillet weld goes directly to the left of the fillet weld symbol. So for um, the top one, we've got the fillet weld symbol. We want a 5 16 inch weld, and that goes on the arrow side. Both legs, as you can see, are 5 16 of an inch. Then the middle weld symbol is a half inch fillet weld on both sides, both the arrow and the other side, the opposite side. So we've got half inch and half inch, and we look at the legs of both of those welds, and there are both legs of both welds are all half inch. Well, then we get to the bottom weld symbol. We want a half inch or a quarter inch weld on the opposite side and a three eighths inch weld on the arrow side. So if we looked over on the weld cross sections, that's what we get. So these are some examples of how you would size fillet welds. Dimensioning of fillet welds. Fillet weld size shall be specified to the left side of the weld symbol. So you can see here we have put in a fillet weld and just a generic S and it's for it's above the arrow the reference line so it's for the other side and we've just got a generic S. So you're going to put a fillet weld on the other side of this symbol. On this slide, you can see that we've got the size of the fillet weld. So when we just have one number there um, off to the left that's giving us the size of the fillet weld, that's telling us the size of both legs. We're going to see here in a minute that you could have a fillet weld with um, the legs that are different sizes. But if there's just one number designating the size of the fillet weld, that means both of the legs are equal and that we're just going to have them um, be the same size. Here, this would be 3 eighths of an inch. You can see both of our legs on this fillet weld are 3 eighths of an inch. So there's no need to put two dimensions on there. It's just a 3 eighths inch fillet weld. And this is for fillet welds that have equal sized legs. Same drawing, same sketch. We just threw a number in there. We put a half inch, so you're going to put a half inch fillet on the other side of this weld, the opposite side of the arrow. So it's not arrow side, it's opposite side. Half inch weld for a fillet weld. Dimensioning of fillet welds, unequal legs. So when we have unequal legs, the size of the fillet weld with unequal legs shall be specified to the left of the weld symbol as shown below. The weld orientation is not specified by the symbol and shall be shown on the drawing to ensure clarity. So here it's giving you the, um, to the left, instead of just having a single number designating the size of the fillet weld, here we've got two numbers so it's a 3 8 by 5 8 inch fillet weld so that's giving you the two um, separate sizes of the legs but there's no way to tell the orientation so that your designer detailer engineer whoever's putting together the drawings is going to have to clarify where they want the 3 8 and where they want the 5 8 inch for for that specific fillet weld configuration Here's one of the other little idiosyncrasies of fillet welds. You can have unequal leg lengths. So you just put the dimensions there. So on this one, I just threw in 5 eighths by 3 eighths. 
there's no nomenclature on which one is the upper leg or which one's which leg. You have to designate that on the drawing. So in this instance, I've shown that I want this leg to be 5 eighths of an inch and the other one will be 3 eighths of an inch. You either have to put it in the tail as a note or you put it here as a, you know, show it somewhere in the drawing so that it, the people building the component know which leg is the 5 eighths inch leg and which leg is the 3 eighths inch leg. Here we can see a fillet weld symbol with the fillet weld having unequal leg lengths. So you can see we've got a 3 eighths by a quarter inch um, fillet weld. So they want the horizontal leg to be 3 eighths of an inch and they want the vertical leg to be a quarter of an inch. And this is how you would designate it. And this is on the arrow side. If there's no designation of length for a fillet weld, as shown here, I got the little red circle and there's nothing in that location, it means the fillet weld length is full length. When a fillet weld extends for the full length of the joint, no length dimensions need to be specified on the welding symbol. So if you just have a fillet weld and there's no length on it, then you, you just run with it and put a fillet, fillet weld for the full length of that joint. Full length of that member in that weld joint gets a fillet weld of whatever size is designated. Fillet weld size shall be specified to the right side of the weld symbol. In this instance, if you're going to use a size and it's just the full length, you don't need to put anything else. If you only want it to run a certain length, then you need to put it on the drawing in some fashion that can be understood. Where to start and where to stop. So here we've got a quarter inch fillet weld, six inches long. It doesn't designate a starting or a stopping point, but this is how you would designate it. And then on the sketch or the drawing, it would give you a start point and then you would make the six inch weld from there. But here's what a quarter inch, six inch long looks like. You can see we've got the size of the fillet weld to the left hand side and on the right hand side we've got the length of the fillet weld. So what if we want a fillet weld at a specific location and of a specific length? Well our, our weld symbols can't carry all that information so a lot of this is going to carry over to the drawing so like here I didn't put on this when I put together this sketch I didn't put together put on there the size of the fillet weld because we're not really talking about this so here I've got a weld symbol and it's a welding symbol and it's pointing to a very specific location and you can see that we've used dimensioning lines to tell us where we want that weld so here we're gonna put a five let's call it let's say we're working in inches we're gonna put a five inch weld three inches off that um, edge that's outlined in green if you see on the lower right hand drawing or view I've got that left hand edge outlined in green that's gonna be our baseline so we're gonna come off of that one three inches and then we're gonna put a five inch fillet weld a five inch long fillet weld at that specific location. So when you need a, a fillet weld at a specific location of a specific length, it's going to get back to your drawings and your drawings are going to tie that in. The, the welding symbols don't have enough information to give you exact location and length. So you're going to have to have your detailers, engineers, or whoever puts together the drawings um, include that information on the drawing. But you're just going to use a dimension come off some point where you want that you're using as a reference point come off of that let's say three inches and then we're gonna have a five inch weld there so this is what it would look like length of fillet welds you can see that the length of fillet weld goes to the right of the fillet weld symbol on the welding symbol so on this one you can see on the bottom we've got a fillet weld and it's 12 inches long well 12 units so we're gonna go with 12 inches long since how we're dealing with American units and it's shown on the print 
as starting from three inches from that edge. So you start three inches from the edge and you make a 12 inch long weld. And that's what you need to do to comply with this welding symbol. Summary. In this module we covered dimensioning of fillet welds, size of fillet welds, fillet welds with unequal leg lengths, fillet weld lengths.